Hey guys, uh, sorry it's been a minute since I've got a video, but welcome back to another episode of We Are One Day Closer to the Bitcoin Halving. Um, guys, it is getting quite wild out there. Um, the banks now are going to the actual exchange, or I'm sorry, not the exchanges, to the miners trying to buy Bitcoin directly from the miner, meaning they can't find it anywhere else. And you know, a lot of us that have been in this space for quite a while, you can actually look at exchange wallets. I don't know if you guys know this, you can Google it. Don't take my word for it, go check it out. Like for instance, you can go online, Binance, Kraken, a lot of these um, platforms show you they're, they're very you know transparent about their wallets. So you can type in their wallet address and find out how many Bitcoin are being held there. Well, what a lot of people don't realize is that there is a ton of people that have Bitcoin on exchanges that the exchange doesn't own. It's actually somebody else's money or, or Bitcoin. So, you know, the exchange may say, whatever, round numbers, they have a million Bitcoin. I guarantee it's not all there, liquid, ready to be bought and sold. Um, a lot of people have money kind of spread out through different exchanges. Of course, they've got it on cold wallets. And to those of you that are new in this space, please, please, please do not have the lion's share of your crypto sitting on an exchange thinking that you're just gonna be able to go and click and sell it when you wanna make a profit. Please have the majority of your crypto on a cold hard wallet. Um, and what I mean by that, ledger.com. It's one of the, my favorites. It's the, the company that I use. There's a lot out there, Trezor. There's a lot of you know others you can Google them. But if you're gonna purchase this, make sure you go directly from the manufacturer, which is ledger.com. Um, and there's other ways online. You'll see videos about just to make sure that it hasn't been tampered with. Again, make sure you're holding most of your crypto. If you have some on an exchange, whatever, you know, do what you want. I'm not going to tell you guys, you're all adults, but <clears throat> that's what I'm doing. Just keep it safe. Um, it's crazy. We are so close to the Bitcoin having you guys that it's at the point where most people can't get the coins that they want. One, they can't afford them, right? At almost 70 grand a pop um, and those of you who have been stacking for years good on you I'm, I'm telling you you're, you're gonna be super grateful that you did this and make that decision so again I'm just letting you guys know we are so close to the Bitcoin having again everybody's just gonna be talking about price and again once we pass over the, the threshold and that occurs I think it's April 20th is when the actual day is supposed to go down um, again we'll be all looking at the supply shock that rippled through the whole network and making sure that, you know, there may be some miners, guys, that go offline, meaning they're not making a profit anymore. So don't be surprised. Um, yeah, hope you guys are having a, having a great day. Chat soon.